power of war Fills a lonely canyon High above the desert land They call Chikoti The flint strikes the steel A cloud conceals the final stand And the noble fall Stay safe, stay warm, and you stay free with Chicote Outdoor Recreation. Yeah, she ain't much, but she's home. Bought and paid for. And uh, raised a lot of babies there, did a lot of good. Hey, Bill here with Chicote Outdoor Recreation. So, you know, I talk to a lot of other hunters and I try to pick their minds. You know, guys I respect, uh, really important hunters, guys that, that know their stuff in elk country. Uh, guys like Don Kenny, you know, master outdoorsman. He's a master hunter. He, uh, he fills his tag every time. And a lot of the conversation goes to, you know, how many rounds or how much ammunition should I bring with me on a, on a typical hunt? And what should I have with me? And a lot of guys, you know, there's a lot of different uh, opinions on it. Some guys will say, well, I have a box of ammo back at base camp. I have a box of ammo, a couple of box of ammo in the truck. Um, I keep some in my pack. Well, my thought on the whole thing was that there's a lot of things that can go wrong on a hunt. Uh, and you can have the best rifle in the world. You can, you can have your rifle topped with the best scope and, you know, spend a ton of money. But at the end of the day, without a cartridge, Without this little tool right here, without without having a cartridge, you know, basically without this, it uh, doesn't matter how much you spend on the rifle or the optics, you basically got a club. So I started looking around and I started looking at cartridge wallets and I wanted something nice, you know, something good. And the first thing I got, and this really ended up not being so nice, was this thing right here. This is a uh, neoprene, it comes in a little plastic buckle you know what I mean? Yeah, really difficult plastic buckle. But then, you know, you got it like this. It's this type of a layout. And it's just it's just cheap Chinese-made stuff. And uh, was not too happy with it. It never seemed to work out right. A couple of times it fell off my belt because these snaps in the back are just real loose. It's not a well-made product, you know. This is uh, something you get from China. But I'll tell you, this right here cost me literally three times what I paid for this right here this. So look at the differences in size. I'm going to do a close-up on these so you can kind of get a difference in the size, but um, this is 100% leather, Italian style of leather. It's very smooth. It holds the cartridges in there nice and slim. And why do you want to have this on your belt? Well, I'll tell you, there's three reasons. Number one, you take a fall when you're out hunting. You bump your scope. Now you've got to sight in. That's going to take at least three, four rounds to accomplish to get sighted back in. Uh, Another reason why you'd want to have it, you get injured out there, right? And let's say you've loaded your, your, your box, you've loaded your, mag, your magazine, and you've got one in the pipe. That's all well and good for a hunt. But now you get injured, and you want to do the international distress signal. You hear some hunters maybe a distance off, and you think, OK, I'll fire three quick shots. Now you're down to one shot in the rifle. You never let your rifle go completely dry, ever, when you're out here, because that's a death sentence. You just don't do it. So why have extra rounds on you? How would you carry them? This is the way I go. And uh, this right here, $13, $13. Made in Ukraine, 100% leather, built like a tank. This thing's gonna last season after season. And it's a nice compact fit. Like I said, I'm gonna do a close up on it so you can get an idea. Another reason, and, th and this one has happened to people many times, you have an inexpensive rifle. And that's what I have here. I have an inexpensive mountain rifle. This is one of uh, Remington's not so expensive rifles. But it's got, and you find this on a lot of rifles today, it's got a plastic magazine and a plastic magazine catch. And uh, not uncommon that you get out there. Let's say, God forbid, you've, you've put in for a hunt. You've waited all year to do this. You've got your magazine loaded. You've got one in the pipe. You get out there in the mountains. You're miles from base camp. And guess what? You look down, and the magazine's missing. Magazine's gone. Now you've just got the one in the pipe. And if you have a cartridge wallet, you can single feed those rounds into the chamber and continue on with your hunt. 
and you can get to them quickly because it's right there on your side. You have those 10 rounds of insurance. So that's why I carry one. And like I said, if you want to get a good one, get a hold of Bronze Dog. I'll leave a link in the description. They're made in Ukraine. They're great guys, great people. They're fighting communism right now. You know, Putin marched in there. He wanted the Crimea. He wanted Sevastopol. And he wanted it for the harbors. You know, uh, without that area, the Russians really wouldn't have a sub-fleet. They wouldn't have any of this stuff. So strategically, it was important to them. But the people of the Ukraine, hey, they want freedom, man. You know, they want the same things we wanted back in 1776. So if you could buy something from them, if you could support them, hey, do it, man. You know, the Chinese, I think they're always going to be communists, no matter how hard they try. And, uh, but the people of Ukraine are good people. They're yoking communism. They have faith in God, which, uh, you know, a lot of the communist countries don't. And so I support them 100%. For 13 bucks, it's a pretty easy decision to support them. So let me get a close-up on this and show you, uh, show you what it all looks like. So this was the first one that I got. Like I said, I paid three times as much for this one. It's just cheap Chinese stuff with a cheap plastic buckle and kept falling off the belt. Not, not very happy with this and it's kind of bulky. And for 13 bucks from the Ukraine, from Bronze Dog, I got this little piece. And uh, you can see how slim line it is. It's got very tough loops in the back. Everything's riveted with steel. This is steel and leather. This is plastic and kydex really doesn't take a lot of thought process. Let me open it up for you, show you what it looks like on the inside. That's how neatly they store. You get 10, 10 cartridges in there, can't beat it, 100% very, very rough leather. You're not gonna break this. This is gonna last millions of seasons, if not more. Um, just a really happy piece of gear. You know me, I hate to separate myself from a dollar, but I'll tell you something. I'm gonna get another one of these. That's how much I liked it. And for 13 bucks, I really don't have to think too hard on it. It is just a great piece of gear, sturdy stainless steel rivets, corrosion resistant, and top of, the, if you could feel this leather, fantastic. But anyway, that's what I'm taking with me uh, from now on on my hunts. This will be riding on my belt, and uh, I think it's a good piece of gear. Give it a shot, 13 bucks, you can't go wrong. Well, this is Bill with Chicote Outdoor Recreation. I hope you enjoyed that. Say, listen, you stay safe, you stay warm, you keep yourself free. Oh, if you're wondering, hey, uh, when you shot that 30 on six at the, uh, the steel plate, uh, what did it do? Let me show you. Take a look, see there. You can see that right there. See that hole right there? Right? A pretty good size hole for a 30 out 6 at that distance. And then look at how it's spleened the back. I mean, look at that. Just just look at that. Look at it, just blew that out, man. And that is a thick piece of steel. That's what a 30 out 6 is capable of 180 grains. Pretty cool, huh?